Hi Libra, I hope you are all well. So this is going to be a general love reading for mid-October to the end of October 2021. It is general, so it's not going to be for everybody, but you can check out one of your other signs, one of your person signs, or you can book a personal reading. All that information is in the description box. And this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs in Libra. So let's see what's going on with Libra. Mid-October. Okay, we have grief and we have settling. So this could be you, this could be your person, okay? Because in general readings, the roles can be reversed either way. So somebody is settling or has been settling in a situation that they're not feeling very fulfilled in and that is causing a lot of grief, okay? So, I mean, the good thing is, is that, well, I mean, it's not really positive, but when we have grief, that means that we are at least aware of what it is that we are doing or of what it is that is happening. So let's get into this and see. All right, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Second half of October. All right. Let's see what we got. All right, Libra. So for the situation here, we have the Knight of Pentacles crossed by the Ten of Pentacles. It almost feels like there's like a giving up kind of an energy when it comes to when it comes to a particular commitment here. So there is a commitment um, which I feel has been long term or has long term potential, but it feels like it's just not it's not going anywhere. Or there somebody has given up. Uh, we have the Seven of Cups in the recent past, so I feel like, actually with the Seven of Cups, I'm not even getting um, confusion or anything like that. I'm getting that there was this opportunity here um, for somebody to, to choose something different. I don't know, we might clarify that and see. For you, we have the Knight of Wands and the, the Knight of Wands, which is in reverse, and the Seven of Pentacles. So... Hmm, what is going on with you? You're, you're not feeling very stable at the moment. There's something where either you're also feeling like giving up or you just don't want to move things forward, but there's still a little bit of waiting for something to happen. I feel like you feel like, you know, you did what you could possibly. That's what it's, it's um, feeling like. You did what you could in a particular situation. And now it's like you don't want to do anything else or you're not you're not really moving it feels like there's like some kind of a standstill here where you're kind of just waiting for things to unfold possibly for them we have the six of pentacles in reverse and the wheel of fortune in reverse so this is somebody who is a little bit being a little bit um resistant to change at the moment or that's how they have been Again, it just the the whole reading just feels like like two people not really giving to this. We'll see. We'll see when we clarify. Um, coming up in the near future, we have the world. So that's some kind of a conclusion or a completion of some sort, closing out a cycle, and then a potential outcome here. We have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So again, it feels like there's a lack of a lack of action, at least for the time being. Let's see what Libra, what is this? <laughs> but you know, I do really like the fact that we have the world though here because it does talk about a closing out of a cycle, whatever that whatever that is. Okay, so and because I do I do feel like there's a lot of people who watch my videos that are involved in third party situations. If that is your situation do keep in mind that this 
For example, if it's um, your person who is involved in another situation and you're cross-watching, this, this reading could even be about them and that person. It doesn't necessarily have to be you, okay? And it's just energy. So take it however it resonates, if it does. And if it doesn't, it's not your reading. So let's see. What is going on here? Knight of Pentacles with the Ten of Pentacles. I mean, yeah, Fool in Reverse. Queen of Wands in Reverse. Get one more. And the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this is a connection where things, again, like, it's it's just the same thing coming through. It's, it's not moving forward. Nobody is willing to um, take any risks here or to take a leap of faith or to try to move things forward. I'm even getting, like, there's not even, like, not even this desire. There's no desire for a new beginning or to try to make it work at all. I feel like, you know, it's kind of like whatever, whatever we had to give, we gave. And now it just feels like, all right, you know, um, can't, can't really work on this anymore. It's almost like the drive is gone. The passion, the passion is gone. Let's see the seven of cups in the recent past. See what that's about. Temperance in reverse and the moon. All right, so we have Sagittarius showing up as well as um, Pisces. You know what, I'm getting that this is something that has dragged out for a very long time. This is something that has dragged out for a very long time, um, even though there were other opportunities. Like I feel like there were in the past, there were these opportunities to kind of take a new path, um, but somebody was just dragging it out. And it's almost like even though like they felt like the, the, like the patients had run out for this connection, it was like still kind of keeping that hit and not being very open with the other person about it. Let's see what's going on with you. Let's see that Knight of Wands in reverse. All right, and now we have the Seven of Pentacles showing up again for your energy in reverse here. Yeah, you're you're just waiting. You're just waiting to see what's going to happen. You feel like there's nothing else that you can do for this situation. I feel like it's a giving up kind of a kind of a thing. Let's see the 7 of pentacles. I feel like you tried to do what you could and you're just not you just didn't get the results that you wanted. So we have the 3 of pentacles in reverse. So, yeah, it does feel like we have quite a few pentacles here. Some of you might be dealing with an earth sign. Um of course, it could always be any sign, but that's just what I'm getting very, very strongly here. Or maybe some of you have a lot of earth in your in your charts. Here's the thing, you, you've been giving to this, all right? And I feel like, again, like you are kind of just still waiting. I, I'm, not, I'm not really convinced of how much you actually want this to work out. I feel like at the moment, at least, you're kind of just standing back like, you know what, it is what it is. Like, I'm just going to wait and see where it's going to go. Um, because you feel like you are, you've been giving to this, but you're not feeling like you can work together as a team or you're just feeling like this is something where the whole situation just feels more like it's a practical issue. Like there's not even, we're not getting much emotions here, like anywhere, basically. It's all just practical material, like what works in the material world. And I feel like at the moment you're feeling like you just cannot work together with this person to find some kind of a resolution or to make this connection work. All right, let's see the Six of Pentacles in reverse for them. The King of Cups. And the Wheel of Fortune showing up again. Okay, so there, I mean, yeah, there is some kind of love here, right, from this person. There are some emotions, but I'm getting that when it came to how much they were giving, they were holding back a lot. 
or they've been holding back a lot. Again, I feel like there's resistance to this change, but I feel like there has been a shift, a big shift in this connection when it comes to when it comes to the love that has been expressed or to the love in how it is being manifested or how it is taking form. So this person, it's like, again, you know, I do get that for some of you, this could definitely be a third party situation that is happening here. I just said the same thing, I think for, I think it was Gemini um, with the six of pentacles, like giving energy to more than one situation. And when that happens, you know, you're not, you can't be a hundred percent here nor there. All right. So that's what's showing up for, for this other person here. Like, So pretty much I feel like with this King of Cups, it's that love not being able to give, not being able to give that because something has changed. And I feel like it's just being, um, that completion is just being prolonged, but I do see it coming up here. Let's see the Wheel of Fortune for them in reverse. It's like the wheel has turned, you know, but then like we need to kind of catch up to it. <laughs> It's like denying something that's already happened. All right, so here we have the King of Swords and the Eight of Cups. So yeah, it's all about this person having to make that decision to allow that wheel to, you know, turn. Well, the wheel has already turned, but it's more of making the decision to actually, all right, you know, go with it walk away from a situation that's no longer serving anything, no longer serving anybody. So I do feel like this person is in the process of doing that. Um, they're just resisting the, the shift. They're resisting the shift to some extent. Let's see the world for the near future. King of Pentacles and the Three of Wands. You know, this is just something that <clears throat> I feel it's going to happen. You know, this this completion, some kind of an ending, something closing out here. It's it's inevitable. It's inevitable. It's it's almost like you know you you or them, whoever the both of you can wait for this and be waiting and dragging it out and just kind of waiting for it. I don't know what what you're waiting for, but it's, it's, whatever, it, this is done. This is a situation, whatever the settling is, all right? Whatever that settling, whoever is settling in a situation, that cycle is complete. It's done. So what I'm getting here is that there is no sense in just waiting for it. Waiting for, for what? That, it's like, <laughs> I feel like the message is <laughs> like, what are you waiting for? But of course, you know, maybe if you're, depending on who, that resonates with it could be for your person so not in that case it wouldn't be up to you anyway but it almost feels like you know again waiting for something possibly waiting on a practical level for something to conclude or for something to resolve and I'm actually getting you know what it, it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter you know th those are just details basically Again, it's, it's referring to this commitment, right? That Ten of Pentacles with this Ten of Pentacles showing up here. Did I just say, t okay, the Ten of Pentacles and the King is what I meant to say. All right, let's just see this Knight of Swords for the potential outcome because there's, there's a cycle here. It's complete, it's done. But somebody is still kind of waiting to see what's gonna happen. But there is, <laughs> there is nothing to happen, it's done. Um, all right, so clarifying the Knight of Swords in reverse, we have the Two of Swords and we have Judgment. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> so this is actually being able to see, all right, having that wake-up call, being able to make that discernment that, you know, this is just not working out. There is no moving forward with this, basically. Like, whatever the situation is, you're, you're not going to be compatible. You're not going to be able to see eye to eye. Again, it might, it might be, um, this reading might be about your person who might be dealing with somebody else, okay? Take the messages as they make sense for you. Maybe it is for you and this person, you know, and it's just time to let it go, at least for right now, okay? It just feels like this is a very, very complete situation, and that 
the, these two people have been together because they're settling for some kind of practical purposes, all right, whether it be finances, um, uh, some kind of security, comfort, whatever. That's just material on the material. Like, yeah, very, very clear. So, Libra. So, I mean, even though it, it might sound that sound like it's not all that positive, having this judgment card as the very last card out, it's actually, it's positive in the sense of having that awareness, right? This is like having a rebirth, having a revelation that something is not going to work out. That is what is going to unblock everything else in your life or in their life or in both of your lives. All right, so Libra. If this resonated, if it didn't, it's just not your reading. That's completely okay. All right. And we have the new moon in Taurus. I'm telling you, like so much earth energy in this reading. Um, prosperity lies ahead. So the message that I'm getting with this is that for whoever this is concerning to know that, you know, you still have prosperity. You can still be abundant. You know, these practical issues there, you're not in danger of losing anything material from your material comfort or from your world, all right? There's prosperity in the future, all right? It lies ahead. It's coming anyway, regardless of what happens with this situation, you know? Let it close out. Don't let material things or just, you know, um, superficial comfort hold you back if that's, if that's what the case is. All right, guys. Um, those were the messages for Libra. I thank you so much for watching and much love.